Good morning everyone. So I've got officially got a really horrible sore throat and to be honest it feels better than what it felt through the night. It felt, I don't know if it's because it was so dry and I was literally just going for my water literally all night. Um, when I swallow it's really sore and Graham said it looks really sore right at the back. I don't know where that's come from but um, I feel okay in myself, it's just my throat hurts, so I'm gonna, well I've got some really, I've got some like extra strong honey and lemon lozenges in my car, so I'm gonna be sucking on them all, all day I think. Oh we've just got up, excuse me, oh. five past seven, I'm gonna do the kids some breakfast, got the dogs in, it's really wet out today, it's supposed to rain most of the day which is annoying. Um, I've got to drop Alistair off at school. He's got to wear his costume today because his Alice in Wonderland performance is today at school. Um, and then drop Violet off at nursery and then go back to school because his performance starts at 9.15. Sadly though, Graham can't make it because he's at market today and they didn't give us enough notice either. So, um, yeah, I'll just be going, which is fine really. So uh, yeah, that's basically planned for today. I don't know why I feel so tired. I think I'm going to have coffee and get these kids fed. I don't know whether to have eggs this morning. I feel like I need something warm, <laughs> not anything too sharp or dry. Yeah, look at that weather. It's a mess that one, it's an absolute mess. Ugh. Okay, I've just done Alistair's lunch. I've just tidied up, emptied the dishwasher done the usual stuff in the kitchen so I can kind of retire that area. It's about, ooh, it's about quarter to eight so I need to crack on actually. Oh, while it's in the toilet. Uh, he's made Alice's bed and get his stuff out for school. He's basically wearing his costume. They actually brought it back. Um, so they were obviously rehearsing Monday and Tuesday and then they handed it back to us for them to come into school today with wearing it. I need to do some serious Lego sorting because this is ridiculous. I can't walk anywhere without treading on Lego at the moment. It just, it, it's just ridiculous. Look at this, it's scattered everywhere. Obviously it's his room and I don't mind him playing with it, but this is getting a bit, you know, it's really hard to hoover <laughs> without hoovering up Lego. I'm just about to um, wash my face and a lot of you have mentioned about my Clarisonic. So um, I've had my Clarisonic for about 15, 16 months now and I actually don't use it twice a day. I use it once a day and I have always used it once a day. I, I do have breaks, I mean I don't use it every single evening. Um, but I don't think that's the problem. I think my problem was I actually think I was over exfoliating by, um, I was using this exfoliant which I have used for quite a long time. You can see I've used quite a bit of it, but maybe it was going too far. I was using that occasionally in the morning um, instead of like a normal face wash. So I don't know if that's the problem. Um, maybe it was, I don't know, overdoing it when using that in the morning than using my Clarisonic in the evening. Um, my face is definitely getting better, but you, you can probably see it's really dry still it's really it's really flaky which again is not use it's not usual for my skin so I think it might be just artificial um drying just from the products and stuff so um yeah I've basically been using the Lizelle cleanser for the last well since I got it when did I get it Tuesday Monday I can't remember um <clears throat> and it's really helping it's really soothing it's really nice and it's quite clearing actually I've noticed the redness really decrease in my skin which is really good for me also they gave me a little freebie of their eye cream they um, said they've remade their eye cream so they used to have an eye and lip cream and this one's just the eye one and it's coming out the 17th of March I think she said so next week and this is really good they're really thick and um, nourishing I really like it I'm tempted to buy the full size because I need a new eye cream anyway so um Alice looks like a ninja Right, can you put your costume on, please? Violet, I need you to get dressed. Can you hurry along? He's chasing her. She's running away. She's not able to get dressed. It's like, just get dressed. But anyway, I'm going to sort myself out. Just done school run. Ended up looking like a drowned rat. And goodbye. Off to take my bite to nursery. Okay, utter disaster. Alistair's thing starts in like 20 minutes. And the road is blocking Violet's road to nursery because the tr there's a tree falling down right in the middle of the road. So I've had to do a UE and I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Ah, today 
days, just not one of those days. You know, you just think, what else is gonna happen? It's still absolutely pouring as well. What a nightmare. Right, I'm heading back to school. I've got like five, 10 minutes. I'm probably gonna get, be one of the mums that are right back. The last seats, which I'm really annoyed about, but can't help the weather, can't help what happens with trees falling down, so. Oh, and my phone's going. Okay, I've just been into Tesco. I actually managed to get to Alistair's um, play and it was really good. He was so confident and he hates singing. He really, he says how much he hates it, but he was brilliant and he sang and I got it on video and I was just, I don't know, he looked really happy. So yeah, it was a really good show. It lasted about 50 minutes. Um, and I've just come to Tesco, I've just been in actually, just to get something for my throat because it's absolutely killing me. Um, I picked up some of these cherry menthol things which are supposed to be good for um, sore throats apparently. They had a few to choose from. And then I also picked up this spray stuff which I've had before actually, quite a long time ago, like even years ago, probably before the children. But I remember having it and it working really well. They actually had the cherry flavour which is this one or the original, but basically you spray it at the back of your throat and it numbs it. It really does work though. Um, so yeah, it's about five pounds though, so not the cheapest, but it does um, last quite a long time. So I'm gonna use that because my throat is good. Oh, it really, really hurts. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna head home. Oh, I just did that and no joke, it kind of feels like you're doing a, a really horrible cherry shot. <laughs> oh, it's numbed it so well already though, instantly. I've just got home and a cardio man has turned up early. He's a lot earlier. I, I ordered him between one and two and it's only um, 20 past 12. So yeah, he's weirdly early, which was lucky because I've literally just got back. Um, and all of the houses up here and ours as well we don't have any electricity <laughs> so yeah i don't i think something has gone wrong i think it's the weather isn't it i knew something was going to happen i did say this you know everything comes in threes and you know we've had a bit of a rough morning with the um weather and the tree and everything the tree still hasn't moved so i tried to get back up the hill it's totally blocked off still so i had to go all the way around again which was frustrating um so yeah i'm totally kind of in the dark i haven't well i haven't really got any electricity to use i was gonna um make myself a nice cup of tea but i can't <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna put my shopping away anyway because i need to do that i'm not really sure what i'm going to do now because i can't even publish my my daily vlog for today because I, I did it this morning because i was just flapping about and I thought oh I don't want to come back shocking weather look at that horrid okay so I'm super happy I managed to publish my video um I just did it on my phone I used 4g and I was just like boom done um you just publish it I don't actually ever use youtube through my phone weirdly apart from just watching the odd video um so yeah it's up but it doesn't have a thumbnail so i'm just pleased to have it up to be honest i didn't you know expect for this to happen today so um yeah i'm feeling really cold as always i keep saying i'm so cold but as we have no electricity and no nothing i can't even like kind of warm up and i can't put any lights on i can't even use my mac i just can't do anything hopefully graham should be back from market soon my um, throat is feeling much better. That spray is amazing. I forgot actually how good it actually works. Um, you can only use it like two or three times a day because it's, it's, it's quite powerful. Um, I think I said earlier, it was kind of like having a cherry vodka shot. It kind of stings the back of your throat and then it just numbs it. Um, but yeah, I'm not really doing anything else to be honest. I might just sift through a few things, go through the Easter supplies, the kids, um, have got this year which is exciting um, I'll be doing the Easter baskets bags next week probably so I can't actually wait to show you what's actually inside I'm gonna do a different video like I usually do but I got this um, crate thingy from when I had a hamper delivery thing from Dorset cereals and they actually sent me the whole hamper she kind of emailed me to say they had a hamper to send out and I just assumed it would be like just in a regular box but she actually sent it in this really cute like wooden crate which obviously I'm going to just keep using so I'm going to use that and um, I want to show you one thing that I got from the pound store this is um, 
what I got Violet from the pound store. I mean, how cute is that little money box? Um, they have some gorgeous Easter stuff. Um, they did have an Easter chick as well, but I, it just looked a bit girly and I don't think Alistair would really appreciate it, you know, like Violet, she's, you know, she'd love that, I know she would. Um, but that, how cute is that, a pound? My dad is supposed to be coming over um, this afternoon. I've just messaged him to say that the road was blocked and that we had no electricity. <laughs> so I don't know if he still wants to come over because he hates being cold anyway. And I don't know, we might even end up having to go out for dinner if we get nothing, you know, sorted. I have spoke to Graham and he's gonna ring up the electric board and see what's going on, see if they can have it fixed. I remember last year this happened and we had no electricity for, I don't know, the whole day and not until like the afternoon the next day. Hopefully they can get a generator or get something going because it's a bit ridiculous and it's getting dark ready. <laughs> it's not even, ah, oh, it's only one o'clock. Still got no electricity so we're working on my Arga with my kettle. Thank God I have that and I've just made teas for me and dad. <laughs> trying to find some sunlight because um, we've had a message and we spoke to the um, Southern Electric. We're not actually going back online with electricity until about half past eight this evening. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating. It's getting darker and darker. My dad's still here. We're actually um, having fish and chips for dinner because obviously can't get nothing up and going and it's just, it's easier. I'm gonna have to get some candles out, I think because it's just getting so dark. Um, yeah, we just played Monopoly, that was fun. And I think we're just gonna try and find some other games to play. literally got like full on candlelight but um yeah okay well violet's in bed she's really ratty my dad's gone home and um yeah it doesn't look like we're getting power back anytime soon which is really frustrating um so i'm just washing my face in the it with candlelight in the dark um and i think we're just gonna have a quiet night graham actually did bring back home a small petrol generator which only literally will work on one television or one kettle you know it's that small so we've actually got the telly running which is good so we've got actually some tv and then obviously we've got a log burners going and stuff so we've got some warmth in the house um but what a disaster today is an absolute disaster like literally um so anyway, it's been fun anyway, me and, um, me and my dad, you know, with the kids we played Monopoly and it was just really fun and, you know, I haven't been able to get online, which is always kind of a good thing when you're away from um, social media and stuff, you can't sort of really can't do anything. I can't even charge my phone, so um, it's literally dead. <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully, well, I, one thing I can do, I can actually edit this video because that's on iMovie on my laptop. Um, so I might do that and then I will see you all tomorrow. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been pretty naff today. I've had a really sore throat anyway and to be honest, I have just haven't been feeling it. I think the weather just, the weather's been so rubbish. It just puts such a downer on things when it's constantly wet and cold and oh. Um, and then this happened with the whole electricity thing. Um, but yeah, I will see you all tomorrow and hopefully for a brighter, drier day.